Hi, I'm Justin Grant. I drive uh, non-wing sprint cars, um, do a little bit of midget and silver crown racing as well. But today we're going to uh, blow around the Top Motorsports NOS Energy Drink number four and show you guys a little bit of what makes uh, sprint cars unique. Some of the basic kind of broad overview dimensions of this thing. It's an 87 inch wheelbase. It's got an aluminum, all aluminum head, aluminum block, 410 cubic inch motor. It's fuel injected uh, with methanol. We've got a 28 gallon fuel cell on the back behind the driver's seat there. One of the things that makes sprint cars unique, it's a uh, solid rear axle. That's why you see the, the rear tires are vastly different in size. Will vary depending on track conditions and track size. Anywhere from like 12 inches of stagger, which is the split between the two tires circumference um, all the way down to uh, all the way down nearly to six inches sometimes um, and being on solid axle that's that's the only way it's going to turn uh, you know it's kind of the the solo cup effect you know you roll a solo cup it'll, it'll cut a circle same things happening here another part that's kind of tied into that that's unique is uh, sprint cars are direct drive so we've got a, a shifter in the cockpit. Um, you're either in gear or out of gear. It's, uh, so you, you roll up to what we call staging, lock the thing in gear, push truck hits you and fires you off and, and you're done with that for the rest of the race. We've got a, uh, a DMI rear end. Uh, it's got a quick change cover on the back of it. Pop those six bolts off, you can change your gear ratio there. And we'll do that tune to track condition and, and track size as well. So you notice on our, uh, on our right side wheels, we've got these, uh, these Valco wheel covers. Those are there, the tracks as they wear in, they'll get a real tall curb. It can be anywhere, I mean, it can be this tall some days. Uh, you go banging into that thing, which we do frequently, you know, you find traction against it, you can make a lot of speed against it. Uh, if you don't have this cover, it'll pack the wheel full of mud. Then you got big vibration, big shake, uh, tears parts up, shakes the drive out of the rear tires and generally just beat you nearly to death. We're going crazy low air pressure. So our, our operating range on the right rear tire is between six and nine pounds most nights. Uh, our left rear will play between three and five, just trying to get as much grip and as much drive as we can out of these you know, slick dirt racetracks. This is kind of my office here. Uh, I've got an ultra shield seat with, uh, with sharp advantage uh, safety insert. Um, it's a, it's a poured insert, kind of molds to your body, as well as a nice, you know, high density foam head surround, shoulder support. Going inside the car, we've got the torque tube contains the drive shaft. Uh, and that runs right between your feet, under you, and into that, into that direct drive rear end. We've got power steering pump and fuel pump, kind of off the back of the cam between your knees. Inside these tubes here, we have a torsion bar which is essentially a spring, but, but it's, it's in a bar that, that is torsional resistance. Moving into our, our shock dampeners here. So you can see there's a cable here running up the frame rail to the cockpit. We've got, uh, got knobs in there that we can screw on while we're racing and change how much dampening that each corner of the car has. Your traditional sprint car has got two, uh, two brake calipers on it, two brake rotors and one master cylinder. The rear caliper and rotor is what we call an inboard. One, one caliper, one rotor controls both sides being that it's a solid line rear axle. You move to the front of the car, it's a bit unique. We only run a brake on the left front. Uh, you know, we're, we're only oval racing, we're always going left. Helps us get the car turned into the corner and, uh, and initiate that big yaw that you guys see us lasting around with. These things get dirty and we race uh, night in and night out, you know, 50, 60 times a year. So you're going to the car wash every night after the races, you know, and you're there until two or three in the morning anyway. So the, the less time you can spend tearing these things down, the better. This is, a, this is part that makes that easy quarter turn Zeus fastener. You can pop the body off of this thing in no time, all the way down to the frame. Our bodies are also mostly carbon fiber. Uh, just try and keep the weight down and the carbon fiber adds a lot of longevity to the body as well. Radiator here in front, honeycomb to protect the fins and keep it from, you know, A, getting a hole in it and B, getting just, just blasted and filled with mud. On that same note, you know, we've got, a, got rock guards here to protect the spark plugs and the nozzle lines down the right side. Moving a little deeper, we'll run uh, an outboard water heater uh, that's got quick disconnects here and here. Goes back to this thing being direct drive and using a push truck to start it. Um, when we go out to qualify, you're in staging, motor not running, push truck pushes you, fires off, and you're wide open for two laps. So the thing's got to be hot, it's got to be warm, uh, bearings got to be loosened up when that happens. Uh, you can't go out with a cold motor. Uh, one, it doesn't run good. Two, it tears up parts. These are pretty gnarly race cars. It's important that we can trust the components and the products that we use. These motors are 900 horsepower, and we treat them terribly. We run them through the dirt, we turn them way too many RPM all night long, and we trust Amsoil to keep them alive.